Hi! Hello once again, everybody. Welcome to another Blessed Thankful Thursday, May the 11th, 2023. Episode 1059, Part 1, and it's the next installment of the It's All About God series, number 74. And, to, and today we're going to be talking about God of all graces, beginning with Romans 15.33 from Henry M. Morris. So if you're excited about this one, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember, the likes help the videos out and the channel. Help. The more videos that get likes, the more the channel gets shared to others, to other other um, watchers' feeds or other channel feeds, and um, helps you get a lot of subscribers, which I'm really in, in need of, of a bunch of subscribers before the end of the summer or so. But I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But um, the light challenge is five daily Devo, five turning point videos at four likes only, or all 10 Ten Commandment videos at four likes only. Whichever one, I would appreciate if you would do that. If we don't, if the light challenge is not met by episode 1100, then the challenge will be canceled, and I don't want to cancel it, so don't make me cancel it. But how was your hump day Wednesday yesterday? And what are you looking forward to your blessed, thankful Thursday today? Let me know in the comments. But um, subscribe if you do. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach the 50 mark. Right now, I'm sitting at 43 and would like to hit the 50 mark at least. And then by... um. May 27th, which is in a few week, couple weeks, I'm hoping to hit 100 either by then or episode 1106, I think it is now, or 7, which will be a three-year, May 27th will be three-year anniversary on YouTube since I started. The episode, it will be the three-year of videos I keep having to push it back because I keep missing days and having to push it up. And um, or August the first or fifteenth, whichever, whichever, it, how long it takes. So usually by the end of summer, is I would like to hit one hundred. So if you would kindly do that for me, I would appreciate it more than you ever imagined. So. But without further ado, let's talk about number 74 of the It's All About God series, God of All Graces, and it's episode 10, 59, part 1. Romans 15, says, Now the God of peace, now the God of peace be with you all. So our God of all the world has been known by many names in Scripture. Elohim, E-L-O-H-I-M, Jehovah, J-E-H-O-V-A-H, Adonai, A-D-O-N-A-I, and etc. Um, Yahweh. That's another. That's another name, and Yahweh is more saying the Lord. So, but he is also identified, especially in the New Testament, as the God of many virtues and graces. So our beginning passage calls him, for example, the God of peace. The same appellation is given to him in Romans 16, 20. Hebrews 13, 20 and 21 and Philippians 4, 9. The God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Romans 16, 20. Now the God of peace Make you perfect in every good work to do his will. Hebrews 13, 20, 21. And the God of peace shall be with you. Philippians 4, 9. 
So he's even called the very God of peace who will sanctify you wholly in 1 Thessalonians 5.23. He is the God of hope in the beautiful invocation of Romans 15.13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. So to the sorrowing, he is the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, 2 Corinthians 1.3. And of course, he is the God of love, as Paul reminded the Corinthians in closing his last letter to them. 2 Corinthians 13.11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort. Be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Pretty good. So the Apostle Peter wound up his first epistle by reminding his own readers that their God was the God of all grace. In 1 Peter 5.10, the God of all grace make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. So in summary, our, God, our gracious God is the God of peace, the God of hope, the God of all comfort, the God of love, and of God of all grace. He is also the Father of mercies and the Spirit of truth. John 14, 17, 15, 26. The Father of mercies is 14, 17, and the Spirit of truth is 15, 26. So, and the Lord Jesus, his Son, is of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 30, lastly. Made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption so there he is he's a god of all graces so that's your number 74 of this all about god series and episode 1059 part one so that's all i have for today coming up tomorrow in your beautiful fast friday may the 12th 2023 and episode 1060 part one, we will be learning about faithful men, beginning with 2 Timothy 2, verse 2, from Henry M. Morris III. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that tomorrow morning, tomorrow after 7 a.m. So, so, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and it'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later after one, and we'll be talking about part two of episode 1059. And God sees, understands, and cares. From Zotel Dixon, derived from Psalm 147, 1 through 5. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after one. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> so until later, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your blessed, thankful Thursday morning. And we'll see you after one. What God sees, understands, and cares. What that's going to be? Come back and find out. So until then, goodbye.